Hey guys, this is a capture, Eve Online, doing a relic site. And I um, just want to show you that I do have some small emission scope uh, sharpener ones for my rigs here. Um, so I have two of those. Those are going to add a little bit of coherence, makes it easier to uh, actually do this uh, site. And of course I also have the uh, relic analyzer one, which I'm going to be upgrading in about a week and uh, that upgrade is going to make um, well the skill is going to increase the coherence and the upgraded module is going to increase the attack strength uh, both by 10. So alright, um, what else we have a cargo scanner so I ran the cargo scanner on the Sancho Remains and it only shows two things in here. Um, from my experience there is more than just those two things but um, I haven't really taken a look at uh, what more there is than just those two things. So, all right, what do I have here? Let me just uh, stack these all up, and maybe we can see the things added here. I've got two ships that are going to be picking up stuff, so um, half of it's going to be in that ship, of course, and the other half is going to be in this other ship. So we'll see. There's probably more than those two things because a lot of uh, cans are going to come out. Now these relic sites were after the parts and um, materials. Uh, if we see anything more like blueprints, we'll be after the um, data as well, as data is our will be our, prim uh, our primary goal. So all right, let's go ahead and get started. So we activate the module, and uh, let me just double check here. Looks like you can see the whole thing. So basically, we have 100 coherence because of those two modules. They add 10 each, so we started at 80, and now we're at 100. And if we get some skills trained up, we'll get up to 110 even. Um, and then we have an attack strength of 30. What we're going to do is we're going to look around, and we're going to try and see as much as we can. Now, at times we're going to come across obstacles like an antivirus, which has a high attack rate and we're going to skip those obstacles and try to get things like this. This is really useful against the uh, antiviruses and we're just going to try and go around the outsides. So uh, Basically I'm going to click on the ones which will let me go the furthest. Now I've got two of these antiviruses so I'm going to use the thing that protects me against two attacks. What it's going to do is it's going to cover the first attack on each of them. So I click on it click on each antivirus and I protect it from the, the first two attacks. And now because their strength is 20, it's less than my strength, less than or equal to my strength for attacking, um, I can attack it without losing anything. So I attack both of those. One module takes out two antivirus. And these guys, these guys do not wait. Don't click on other things. Well, especially if you have other modules, if you, have, if you come in contact with other enemy, don't click on anything else. In this case, there's no other enemy. I might keep um, exploring, but my experience has been take these guys out and take out the suppressors um, at all costs, just straight up. Because if I click on something else, let's say I click on this, and uh, it's 50% chance it's going to be good, 50 is going to be bad. Let's say it turns out to be a suppressor. If it has my attack strength to 15, it's going to take a lot longer to to take out this restoration node and basically. Um, it's going to cost a lot of coherence or, or strength. So I'm not going to risk coming across a suppressor. Um, that would, or if I came across another uh, restoration node, the other one could strengthen the one I'm attacking while I'm attacking it, which is very bad. So we take these things out immediately. So two, um, two strikes. It takes me down 10 each to 80. And the third one, my strength is, is greater than its shields or its strength, so it doesn't do anything to me. Now, I never t I never click on these things, these data caches, because I don't know what they are, and unless I'm in a pinch, I'm not going to risk it. So, I'm just looking for the system core. I skip these guys. And there's the system core. See, no matter what else I could find in any of these things, there's a chance of them being bad as well, and this is all I care about. So, 
it's gonna hurt me 10 each. Um, my 30 will take two strikes, or 20 total, before finding the last one's free. We get it, and now we go after. Let's get this out of the way. Let's see equipment. I'm just clicking on the first thing I see to get it started, and then I'm gonna go after specifically materials and parts. Now, as you can see, when the assistant is, um, and you click on it once, um, when when you see green lights, you click on it once and it turns white. The assistant, when it clicks on it, his turns his turns red. So it, the red tells me he's doing something else. Um, so if it says red, don't click on it because the other guy's doing it. And it does happen where you both click on the same thing at the exact same time and it gets kind of weird because they both track during and um, eventually one of the one of the ships gets it and then you're both free. But once you click on something, yours turns yellow, it comes in, or uh, everything turns yellow except the ones coming in, which turns um, white, and then if anything gets beyond your reach, it gets too far, it's going to turn gray. You click on it, your ship will slow, slowly it'll engage, start moving towards it, and then uh, once it gets within range, it'll start pulling it. So that's kind of how it works with the um, wait for green, click on something, it turns yellow, or everything turns yellow except the thing you clicked on. To the other guy, the, the white one that you clicked on turns red to him, it's white to you, and um, it goes kind of like that. All right, so I hope that helped. Um, I hope that helps with doing these sites, basically restoration and the um, analog with the suppressors, those guys have to go out at all costs because uh, anything you click on could be another suppressor or another restoration node and that greatly complicates everything. Um, if you thought you were in a bad position before, just ignore it and click on one more thing. <laughs> um, that's it. That's how bad it is. So alright, I've got this other one. Let me just go and show you. I clicked on it. It's locked. I um, scan it with my cargo scanner. Um, it pulls up. Armor plates are pretty good. And a couple of these more advanced salvage. They're kind of bluish, greenish. Um, and so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And usually I end up doing these um, almost regardless of what's in them, just because it's fun to me. But, okay, so we're just going through to see where we can get. The same old, same old. Now, at this point, everything gets blocked but I still have another thing I can click on. So, now I take that free thing, now I've got two virus things, so I use my polymorphic two free attacks. I clicked on it, I clicked on each one of these in turn. Uh, one and then the other, and then these other two are free because it's under 30. And so, they're gone. So one module takes out two. And I continue the exploration. Here's another antivirus. Okay. I'm just going to ignore pretty much everything until I'm forced to stop. So every free node, I click on it until either I'm forced to stop, or which is now, or I come across uh, those restoration or suppressors. Now at this point, basically attacking any of these is going to cost me 40 to get through. I've got no tools to use, so now I have to go for the place that's going to get me free, um, so I can get some tools. This looks like a pretty good area for getting free. So, um, if I click on either here or here, that should get me through. Uh, or here. So, alright, I'm probably just going to go for this one. No, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because it's all the same pretty much. I'm going to lose 40. So down from 100, we're going to go to 60. Hopefully, yeah, we got through. Okay, so there's a repair. We instantly burn this as we call it. So 
whenever I get something I instantly click on it I don't click on any other nodes because one of these nodes might be an antivirus and then it blocks me being able to pick that thing up so I got this I clicked on it instantly and then I instantly burn it as I call it or just click on it five for two turns so there's the first five and now I have to click on these other nodes to get it to do its other turns and there's my second now this restoration node I gotta kill it quick I'm not gonna use any mods because if I click on another mod if I had one that takes up a turn and this restoration node will in that turn it'll give 20 to whatever this is without even going down so I just have to burn this thing down and as you th see it powered up this one and this one <coughs> so it heals or it boosts the strength of those two by 20 each turn let's just move through and now that I'm at a, at a point where I have to choose to attack again, I'm just going to go, I'm going to consider getting that data cache actually. Um, I don't have any tools, and I like tools. Okay, so it's another antivirus. This doesn't really hurt. So, alright. It looks like there are three things I can get by burning through here, so I'm going to try this. I've only got 55 left. Now, if this doesn't work, and I've got a second turn. There's only a second chance of getting um, of getting through this, and that's the guy I'm looking for. Problem is, um, I need at least 20 to get through him, and I have no tools. All right. So let's see what to do. What to do? to do what to do there's really nothing to do there's this is guaranteed I'm gonna fail this first one gets down to here it's still 40 is greater than 30 so second one kills me there's nothing else I can do so so close so far so far away all right so I can try it one more time so there's my polymorphic which I like I really love these polymorphic ones they're so good at burning through the, um, the antiviruses because antivirus is usually 50 so there's one antivirus I'm gonna wait for a second antivirus because they are so plentiful huh. restoration nodes and when you know it it bumps this up by 20 which is actually not good because 30 is gonna bring that down to 40 I, um, oh, but I do have two polymorphics, so I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should. I don't even need it. Okay. So that was easy enough right there. Sometimes it is really that easy. And we're through. So, you see the swords coming out? Can you see these things? And we just start clicking. So, what I do is I go over the uh, icons until I find the parts or materials that's what I'm looking for parts or materials let's see parts this is so fast there's I might as well now everything's done I might as well get data and with two people <laughs> that's so funny it's out of range and it's blinking and it's gone so sometimes you can get everything with two people or I should say one person in alt <coughs> sometimes you can't so alright that's the last of them I hope you enjoyed it um, so that's the, the rule just remember um, if you get a restora restoration node anything you click on will give plus 20 to some random thing that you've discovered if you've got a restoration and you think well I can click on other things because hey it can't do anything because it, it does it, it only restores 20 to things that are shown um, just remember yeah but what if you get a virus suppressor in the next one then your, your strength goes down to 15 and to kill either one of them is going to be is going to be painful um, you try to kill the, the restoration you're at half strength and it's going to take a long time while it's restoring your virus suppressor and then once you uh, finally get to the virus suppressor, 
it's going to be pretty strong. Where you go for the virus suppressor first, and you're going to be fighting against a restoration node, which plus is 20, and you're at minus 15. So like, you're not going to make any headway on that. So yeah, you get a restoration, um, attack it immediately because um, a suppressor means you're you're in bad 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 straits. And you can imagine if you if you just think through the other way, if you got a virus suppressor. Um, clicking on one more thing might bring a restoration and that's just awful horrible so um, either of those two just burn through it at all costs even if it even if you think um, well I'm gonna have five left I, I've won on with just five left S uh, surprisingly enough so all right train on uh, these things to tech two have fun enjoy the, uh, the the new mini game for data and relic sites and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, thanks very much for watching